Snipe, Snipe, Snipe Squad, what is going on? Back again, it is your boy Sniper Joan Joan, and I am back with another video for yeah, head top. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video, man. It is your boy Sniper Jones, and I'm excited because we talking about Travis Scott Air Jordan 6s right now. Man, anything Travis Scott basically touched right now is money. I shown dog. Literally every single thing from the Air Jordan Travis Scott 1 to the Air Jordan Travis Scott Lowe's to the Air Jordan Travis Scott 4, they always are just out of here, bro. I have been actually lucky enough to have a few pair of Air Jordan Travis Scott's for retail. I hit on an Air Jordan 4 pair, sold those because, I mean, they weren't my size. I went for my size, but I didn't get my size. They were size 11, I needed size 12. I still have the Air Jordan 1 Travis Scott, and this is by far my my favorite when it comes to all of the Travis Scott releases. I'm not a huge fan of the Travis Scott Lowe's. That's really why I think I did not hit for the Travis Scott Lowe's because at the end of the day, you know, I would have been taking that from somebody who really rock with him. I was just buying them for hype. I ain't even gonna hold you. If you're watching this video, then obviously you came here to talk about the Air Jordan Travis Scott 6 shock drop. Man, that is a lot of words. The one known as La Flame, man, Travis Scott is actually the biggest sneaker I think that will release this year is this Air Jordan 6 just because of all of the other releases that have came up before this one is just like building up that crazy drop it's gonna be crazy so originally the release was for last weekend last weekend i believe was like i'm not even gonna lie i don't even know what last weekend was let me check my phone the last weekend was the fourth and the fifth of october it was rumored to be released then but it was pushed back until this weekend supposedly now let me tell you why i say supposedly i say supposedly because the retail price of these will be $250, okay? And the thing is, they're not on sneakers. They're not on sneakers. And more importantly, they're not even on none of the foot apps. Now, usually, if you're not in the area code, none of the sneakers will pop up. If you have a shoe that's only being released in certain cities, once you put in the area code, it'll tell you it's not in your city. But the problem is, bro, these ain't nowhere. I mean, nowhere. I don't know what Travis Scott is doing, my G. I just think, man, he's really... He's at another level to the point where his Reese Puff cereal can't even stay on shelves for five minutes, not along an Air Jordan. One thing I can say about Travis Scott shot drops is unlike a lot of other shot drops, nobody really knows. Don't get me wrong, okay? Shot drops are notorious for being leaked. Just about every shot drop kind of gets leaked because somebody tells, but once you think about all the shot drops that have happened, I think that the Travis Scott ones are actually the most, what? I, how, how can I say this? They are the the ones you hear less about. Only a select few of people know about them. For instance, take the Air Jordan Travis Scott one when he was performing at like what the Grammy. Everybody and their mom thought he was gonna release them joints Super Bowl weekend. I'm telling, I, bro, I had like six phones. I was just waiting. You know what I'm saying? That's how I was, bro. I was just waiting, and they never dropped. And surprisingly. Once he did his uh, Grammy, was it the Grammy or like the, I, I don't know, I think it was the Grammy. When he did that performance, they did a crazy shock drop and it, it, it finessed everybody, just about everybody. Of course you got the people that be like, you know what I'm saying? I knew the whole time, you feel me? I knew the whole time. That's cap. A lot of people did not know them joints were releasing. So it has me thinking now, everybody's getting ready for a shock drop. Nobody knows when they are gonna release. I honestly thought the shock drop would be last week. Usually any Air Jordan, they usually do a shock drop a week or maybe two weeks outside of the actual sneaker release. I know a lot of you guys are in different groups, a lot of different cook groups, a lot of different ways, and a lot of different people are talking about, you know, he gonna drop them now, he gonna drop them now. Oh no, he dropping them next week, he dropping them next week. I don't honestly think nobody knows besides Travis Scott and his people. What gets me actually nervous about the whole entire drop is they're not on the apps, bro. Like, they, 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 they're not on the app. And it's killing me because I really want this shoe. Now, like I said, it's no shame in my game. You know what I'm saying? If, if your boy Snipe, if I fouled up, you know, I fouled up. I easily admit it. When the Air Jordan 1 low Travis Scott came out, I was buying them joints for Simply Hype. I'm not going to hold you. I hate Air Jordan 1 lows. I'm, I'm not going to cap. Crazy because I love dunk lows, like the SB dunk lows. I don't know why. They look so much better to me than Air Jordan lows. I, I don't know. But back to what I was saying. Green is my favorite color, but not like the bright green. This olive dark dusty dirty green is really my favorite color this rusty green that he loves to use in so much of his merch and so much of his sneakers it's my favorite color 
on top of that, man, the orange just had these things popping, the glow in the dark soul, and yes, I'm not gonna lie, the hype does add an extra cool point for me too. In my opinion, we are talking about the most wanted, the most seek Air Jordan of the year, and for my people who ready for that shock drop, just be ready, man, because if you are one of the only ones to hit, we talking about some serious guava. As a matter of fact, I wanna look on StockX because as much as I know about these shoes and as much as I want them, I don't know what they're going for for resale. Probably because I'm not really a big reseller. I have resold shoes, but it's not like I know the market by heart. Like, I just do this. So, right now, I'm headed on StockX just to see what they're going for. Like they as soon as I put in Air Jordan, they already popped up, which means a lot of people probably been, you know what I'm saying, looking at these joints. Right now, in my size 12. Oh, my God. Woo, woo. Right now, in a size 12, man, these things are going for 1,040 bucks. That is a lot of bread. In a size 11, they're going for... 1200 and then the money sizes like you know what i'm saying like the size sevens 1500 dollars seven and a half sixteen hundred dollars i think that's way that's way more than the air jordan one and we all know the air jordan one has the most resale but y'all also have to understand that these sneakers are like 250 after tax it'd be like 275 that is why they're you know reselling for more because i mean you had to pay more to get the shoe air jordan ones only cost 160 dollars so, you know, that's, you get what I'm saying. Air Jordan 1, Travis Scott. I just want to see what these are going for. I know it's been out for a long time and the price drops. I just want to check it out. Okay, in my size right now, the Travis Scott 1s are going for basically $1,000. So it's really, it's really not that much of a difference, to be honest. And in smaller sizes, bro, like size 4, they're going for $2,300. Now, I know what a lot of you guys are thinking. Trust me, I already know. What you're basically saying is, look, Snipe, I know they're going for $1,300, $1, but that's only because they did not drop yet. I completely understand that. I get that. I understand that. But what I want you guys to know is if there's only a limited amount, and if these are actually as hard as it seems it's going to be to get your hands on them, they won't drop that much. We all know the more limited of the shoe, the more it's gonna cost. So as long as he's not flooding the market with these joints, the price will go down maybe a few 20, 40 bucks when they drop, but it's going right back up. I am hoping for a shot drop. Sneakers, uh, also be stay tuned to his actual website, the Travis Scott website. That is where uh, a lot of people actually hit for the Air Jordan 1 Travis Scott's last year. That wasn't last year, that's this year. It was just like super early in the year, but y'all know what I'm saying. I actually know a lot of people who actually hit on those apps. What I can tell y'all, man, is certain Instagram accounts, like Age of Culture, I believe that's one of them. Uh, my boy Unbreakable always lets people know if something's dropping. If I was y'all, I would head over there and just, man, stay tuned, bro, because it's gonna get crazy. The Travis Scott hype is definitely at an all-time high. Nobody really wanna miss out on a pair of Air Jordan Travis Scott, especially if you can get them for retail because it's an automatic flip. There's no question about it. He can come out with some Travis Scott, I don't know, some Crocs, and I, I guarantee you they go crazy. So I want to ask you guys a few questions before we head up out of here, man. What is, in your opinion, the best Air Jordan Travis Scott collab? Is it the Air Jordan 1, the Air Jordan 1 Low, the Air Jordan 4, the Air Jordan 6, or I believe he even had like an Air Jordan 33 or something like that. Excuse me if I'm wrong. But what is your favorite Air Jordan Travis Scott collab? Me personally, man, I, it's either between this one right here or the six. But I don't know, man, because the four is fire too. I really wish I didn't sell those. By the way, if those were a 12, I was I was never selling those. But there's no way I fit an 11. Especially in the in Air Jordan 4, there's no way I fit an 11. So I had to basically decide, like, do I just want to keep a shoe behind me in the case and stare at it forever or make money off of it? What is your favorite Air Jordan Travis Scott silhouette? And also, why they do Drake like this, bro? Drake is the best rapper alive. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 uh, uh, we not talking about the greats like, you know, Jay-Z or, or J. Coles and stuff like that. When it comes to artistry, making music. I'm not talking about lyricists, bars. Making music as a whole. Some people say, you know, KD is better than LeBron. We're talking about the most overall player. You know what I'm saying? Drake is the best overall artist in the game right now. But yet, I still feel like Jordan Brand always finesses him when it comes down to silhouettes. They got this man Air Jordan 10s, Air Jordan 8s, Air Jordan 12s. No disrespect to none of those silhouettes. I'm pretty sure some of y'all favorites. But compare that to an actual Air Jordan 1. Air Jordan 4. Air Jordan 6. There's no comparison. There's no comparison. 
Travis Scott easily has the best silhouettes, and that's probably why his shoes are going for way more. I don't know, man. Please make sure you comment down below, guys. Are y'all ready for the Air Jordan 6 Travis Scott shock drop? If there even is a shock drop, when are these releasing, man? Nobody knows. Make sure you leave a comment down below. It is your boy, Snapper Jones, man. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter just to stay updated on certain stuff if you want to hear about certain drops. If you want to hear about more news, I usually tell people on my story on the gram, especially on Twitter as well. You know I cannot leave without saying everybody want to be famous, but who really putting in that work though? Snipe Squad, I love y'all. Dream big.